Thank you so much, Steph, and good afternoon, everyone. I hope you are well today. And uh, before we start, I will say hello to uh, a group of interns from DGACM, and they are here for uh, a few months, and you'll be helping, uh, of course, next month during the General Assembly, so welcome. And also, I know he has been here for a while, but we met today, so I'm saying also hello or bonjour to Martin Picard uh, from Le Figaro. So, welcome. The President of the General Assembly is marking the International Day of Remembrance of and Tribute to Victims of Terrorism. The PJA expresses her solidarity with all survivors and her sympathy to the families of those who perished by atrocious acts of terrorism in the world. This year, the second International Day of Remembrance of and Tribute to Victims of Terrorism focuses on the resilience of victims and their families. In her Twitter account, Ms. Maria Fernandez Pinoza recalled her encounter in Chad with Halima, a survivor of terrorism at the age of 15, who refused to become a suicide bomber. After being captured and released, she became a paralegal and works today as a gender activist. The PJ said that she felt inspired by Halima, who was a true example of resilience and strength to the world. As a paralegal, Halima has helped hundreds of women and girls to escape extremism and terrorism by her work with uh, educational activities and also to combat gender-based violence. President Espinosa believes that more must be done to tackle terrorism and to support victims of acts of terror as they try to recover from violence, trauma, and to rebuild their lives. The PJ met Halima during a visit to Lake Chad, which she undertook in May, you may remember, perhaps, and more information on our website. And Mrs. Espinosa has congratulated the administration of San Francisco International Airport on the decision to ban plastic bottles from its premises. Since yesterday, 20 August, the airport is phasing out plastic bottles in a drive to become the first zero waste airport by 2021. Passengers are encouraged to bring their own recycled aluminum bottles or to consume water from the water fountains and the hydration stations. And I heard there are 100 hydration stations there. The PJ also said that initiatives such as this help to promote climate action, to tackle climate change. She also said that she was encouraged by all individuals and institutions who are doing their part in order to foster a greener and sustainable world for all. On 1st June, Mrs. Espinosa launched, together with the governments of Antigua and Barbuda and Norway, the St. John's Declaration as part of her global campaign against plastic pollution to eliminate single-use plastics from our daily lives and to promote environmental action around the world. And also, the PGA issued a tweet today expressing concern with forest fires around the globe. Mrs. Espinosa says that forests are vital to tackle climate change, to foster biodiversity conservation and food security. So she appealed to all to do more to protect forests and to tackle and to uh, promote urgent climate action. And uh, I have one more note for you. As you may remember, the PJ is going to Austria today. She will be there until Sunday, and I will bring some updates on the trip to you as it happens also on our Twitter account. Any questions for today? Masood, how are you? All right, how are you, Monica? Mm -hmm. Monica, I'm going to ask you the question that I would asked uh, Stepan earlier about this uh, appointment of the uh, UN Goodwill Ambassador Priyanka Chopra, who has been tweeting in favor of the Indian Army. Does she deserve to remain as the UN Ambassador, given that the Indian Army is known to have killed children, women and children in Kashmir, occupied Kashmir? Um, as you know, Goodwill Ambassadors um, are appointed by the respective agencies of the United Nations. So the appointment of uh, the person in question is uh, something that you have to uh, inquire or ask uh, UNICEF. 
Uh, in regards with uh, this uh, particular issue, Masoud, I think the PJ uh, has uh, said before that uh, uh, she uh, really uh, hopes that uh, relevant parties can resolve all differences through uh, peaceful means. Uh, this is her position. But uh, good ambassadors from other agencies, uh, we I would like to refer you to uh, the agency in question, UNICEF. So the answer is a little bit similar as uh, Steph uh, just said to you. But thank you, thank you for bringing that up. Anything else? If no, have a wonderful day. Yes, yes, uh, yes, okay. That's fine. I see you guys later. You can ask afterwards? Um, yeah, up just, to you. just one question I have. Yes. Um, uh, about the attendance Sorry, of, guys. of yes. Anka, I don't, oh, Anga, I don't know if you can confirm, which is Israel's Prime Minister, uh, Netanyahu, and also um, the Saudi uh, Crown Prince. Mm. Will they be attending? Did they confirm? Yes, I'll have a list for you, and I'll give it to you. So this list indicates, uh, actually, we we circulated it through, through the Anka correspondence, yes, but I, I can send it to you again. And it, they indicate who is coming on behalf of uh, uh, each but country. But they are not confirmed, those no, I, I don't have that on my oh, mind. Okay. I have uh, to give the list to you so you can check yourself. Thank you very much, and sorry for the false uh, ending. <laughs> Thanks.